They took everything. Everything! All threats neutralized. Earth's salvation begins now. So what do we do now? Is it over? No. We created them. And we're gonna finish them. Looks like a real short film, doesn't it? Well, it was crafted entirely by AI in just minutes. This is what Luma's Dream Machine can do. And no, it's not just another AI tool. It's one of the most advanced AI platforms we've seen so far. From creating stunning images, to animating them with realistic camera movement, to building keyframe scenes with consistent characters and more. Today, I'm going to show you exactly what it can do, and whether it's the best choice for you. I've been testing it nonstop, and the results are honestly shocking, especially when you combine great prompts with image generation and camera motion. So in this video, I'll break down how Dream Machine works, how to write better prompts, and show you insane tricks to take your generations to the next level. Let's dive in. Once you're inside Luma Dream Machine, the first thing you'll see is boards. Think of these like project folders. They're super organized, making it easy to keep everything structured and accessible. One amazing feature in Luma Dream Machine is that you can share your boards. I've linked my movie trailer board in the description so you can see exactly how I created these visuals, step by step. On the left side, there's a small icon that takes you to the ideas page. This is where you'll find all your creations. There's also a new editor feature. I'll explain it later. And don't miss the question mark icon. It opens the built-in tutorial section, but honestly, if you stay with me till the end of this video, you won't even need it. Back in boards, click the big plus icon to start creating. Let's begin with image generation. From here, you choose aspect ratio, write your prompt. Let's try a person standing in front of a portal and hit generate. Good, that is what I was looking for. Now let me show you how to write the perfect prompt using this formula. Subject plus setting plus key elements plus style. In my prompt, the subject is a lone nomad walking and through a red desert at sunset is the setting. Key elements, long shadows, flowing cloak. And style, cinematic, wide angle, detailed, textured. Now generate. Stunning. The colors are vibrant, the details are sharp. Here are a few more examples. Above the images, you'll see concept pills. Clickable keywords based on your prompt, like the subject, background, style, and more. You can easily tweak them. For instance, change the environment from snowy mountain to mystical forest. It's super flexible. Here are some other examples. But the feature that really sparks creativity? Brainstorm. Click the light bulb icon and a new menu appears with suggestions you can try on both images and videos. This helps expand your ideas in really unexpected ways. And if you like an image, just click like this to get similar results or show more for new variations. Now here's something wild, text rendering. Let's try creating an image with the text free man fragrance. Look at that. The text is crystal clear. No weird lines, strokes, or garbled symbols like you get with other AI tools. This is a game changer for product mockups or any AI art that needs legible text. Let's try a story cover with a title, The Great Lion. Clean and perfect. Yes, sometimes there's a small glitch, but it's rare. And Luma gives you three more options to choose from. Now for the exciting part, video generation. Let's start with image to video. Pick one of your images, click make video, you can let the AI choose everything or write your own prompt. Here I generate it with no prompt and the results are good, but it will be much better with prompt. Just a tip, be precise in your prompt. If you don't mention something in your prompt, like smoke for example, and choose camera movement, it won't move. You can upload a keyframe and build from there using the same prompt formula or let ChatGPT help you like I do. Look at these examples.
really solid. Now let's add an end frame. I'll turn this cat into a dragon. Here's the results with and without prompt. You can also brainstorm here, extend the video, modify, and even upscale it to 4K. Now let's try text to video directly. Here's our prompt. A panther moves silently through a glowing bioluminescent jungle at night. Fireflies and mist in the air. Camera slowly tracks sideways. Branches part as the animal passes. The result? Incredible. Everything from lighting to camera movement is polished. Those are some other trials. Look at this one. It looked like scenes from the Harry Potter movie. Yes, you might get a glitch here and there, like a weird face, but overall, the quality is stunning. Now let's talk about consistent characters, a massive feature if you're building a story or series. Pick an image of your character and mark it as reference. Then, when prompting, type the at symbol to reference that character. Prompt. Character standing in a dense jungle surrounded by mist and soft lighting, same style. Check the result. The fox looks the same. You can animate it, and just like that, you have visuals for a full story. Want better results, especially with human characters? Use multiple references. Now the editor's reframing tool. This one is so powerful and helped me a lot, especially with thumbnails. Upload your image. In my case, it's zoomed in and cuts off part of the hair. Reframe it. Look at the result. Natural, high quality, perfect, and ready to use. Here's another example created with Dream Machine, reframed and ready to go. While I was editing this video, Luma just dropped a brand new feature, modify video. And honestly, it's beautiful. Just upload your video, choose a start frame, pick a style or simply write a prompt and let Luma do the magic. So, is Luma Dream Machine the best option for you? Well, it depends. If you want an all-in-one AI platform that takes you from idea to inspiration to final result, this is one of the best tools out there. The creativity boost you get here, you won't find it anywhere else. But if you're only looking to generate a quick video, there are cheaper tools that get the job done. And about pricing. If you want to use video generation, the light plan won't be enough. You'll run out of credits fast. I recommend going with Plus or Unlimited for serious creation. If you want to test it yourself, I've dropped the link in the description. You can try image generation for free, so go check it out. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.